Hi and welcome to today's video. My name is Rita, this is my channel 10 Red Lipsticks and this is my intro for my fourth project pan for 2024, Deck of Panning. So um, I'm wearing a lot more makeup than usual, I'm going to a hen party in like half an hour so this is going to be a quick speedy intro, no messing around. Um, I, I'm filming it on the 20th which is the update day each month for this project. I definitely won't get it edited today, but hopefully tomorrow I'll get it up and I'll just be one day late. That's fine. So this is a really fun gamified project pan uh, created by Emily and Max, inspired by Books with Maddie. So essentially it's a prompt based rolling project pan and you get your prompts by pulling cards. So I've got my nice uh, set of cards from uh, Design Work. Design Works Inc. and it's this Musings cat themed uh, set, really pretty and has the gold. Um, I, it comes with two jokers, I've taken out one joker and uh, you only have to have one joker in the deck for this uh, game, for this project pan. Um, if you want to know more about the rules, I would highly recommend you go and watch Emily's intro for this year. Like her intros for all previous years as well are great, but uh, it really concretely describes the rules and explains them really well. So I'm not going to get too much into it. This is a pretty popular project and I'm under time pressure. Uh, so it's going to take me a while, obviously, once I get my prompts to pick my products. So I don't want to waste too much time. So I'm giving them an out shuffle here and um, very randomized. I was thinking it'd be fun to like play a little card game before you uh, pick your cards so they're randomized in that way I thought that'd be fun but um anywho so you start or you have five projects at, or prompts at once that you're working on so I'm going to pick five cards from here and um that sometimes you can wind up having to pick more based on the cards based on a prompt so I'm going to pick randomly from the middle. These cards are kind of like thick and textured paper so they actually don't slide well around. Sorry, I uh, I just saw the card I was going to pick there. So anyway, they don't slide around well the way, uh, you know, regular cards do. So we've got the Two of Diamonds. We've got the uh, Jack of Clubs. Clubs, yeah. And um, we've got the a, a King of Clubs. I'm sorry, this... Not wearing my glasses business, coming to get me. We've got, oh no, we've got the Joker. God damn it. <laughs> and we've got the Nine of Spades. So the prompt for the Joker, I think is, are you kidding me? Something you really don't want to pan? Uh, I do have an idea for this already. Um, and then I'm going to go and look up what the prompts for these four cards are and I will be back to you in a moment with my picks. Okay, that was a bit of work to find the five products but I have found them now and let's go through them. So first actually I am using my different projects in different ways this year. So for this project I am taking a leaf out of Alejandro Lissette's book and using it to kind of try and get around my collection. I am trying to finish products in Partners in Cream, I'm trying to hit pan in Project Level Up, I have no pan left behind to try and get around the rest of my eyeshadow collection but I want to use this to try and get around the rest of my everything else collection. So generally I'm going to be setting pretty achievable goals um, and actually Alejandra was saying her favourite number is eight so she likes to go for eight uses being her goal because she uses this project in the same way and uh, my favourite number is also eight so why fix it if it ain't broken? Um, I think eight uses is, is a fine target. Obviously, for the Joker that I've just rolled in here, um, it'll be different for some of the prompts have specific goals. Um, so it'll be different for those. But in general, eight uses is what I'm going to go for. So let's go through what I've picked. So first for the Two of Diamonds, which was whole collection. Uh, so like roulette, so you put your entire collection into a randomizer and have it pick for you. I do not have my entire collection in a spreadsheet and even where I do, I have it like the brand is one column and then the shade name is another column. I'm about to sneeze. Sorry, I just sneezed. Um, 
so it was a bit difficult so it wasn't my entire collection it was like what I happened to have in my inventory spreadsheet so I definitely I'm even more motivated to continue that work and finish that spreadsheet. But anywho, I put in what I had um, and I was very happy I didn't get an eyeshadow palette because I have two eyeshadow projects on the go already. And I actually came up with this blush from Colourpop, which when the shade name came up, I was like, I have no idea what that is. I was like, is that a lip liner? Is that a blush? Like, I, I did not know. So it's the shade uh, Whole Nine Yards. This is their pressed powder blush. Um, I think from the collection with that 15 pan eyeshadow palette that looked really pretty and had like succulents on it and um, so yeah it's kind of like warm but not too intense quite a neutral subtle blush perfect uh, uh, the color is possibly a bit more summer for me than or spring at least than uh, this time of year but I think it'll work great in general and uh, certainly over the cream blush that I have in Partners in Cream. This is very similar, so that'll work well. So my goal is going to be a mere eight uses on this. So hoping to absolutely hit that and roll it out next month. Next up, we've got the, I don't know what order I pulled these in. I'm just doing it on the order I have in front of me. Jack of Clubs. So this was a powder product. So I, at first I'd picked a blush and then when I did the whole collection uh, roulette, I was like, no, I don't really want two blushes in at once. So I picked a bronzer. This is the Essence Sun Club Natural Glow Bronzing Powder in O2 Cool Tone. Um, there you go. Oh, getting a bit patchy on my dry skin. Uh, just on my hands. I have, dry, I have very oily skin on my face, very dry skin on my hands because it's winter and I'm washing my hands a lot. Uh, so there's the bronzer, there's the blush. Again, eight uses, very achievable. Hoping to be rolling that out next month, no problem. Um, then the nine of spades. Um, the prompt was most recent purchase. So I think my most recent purchase was the uh, Kaleidos order and Glaminatrix orders. I mean, oh, when, when was the Glaminatrix order? I can't remember. Um, but the Kaleidos order was um, Black Friday. Could not remember the words Black Friday. Um, so if it's not the most recent, it's the second most recent. I just can't remember which came first. And like everything takes ages to get to me when I'm ordering from so far away. So part of that order was these three lip glosses. I actually think I'll probably finish this one this year. This is Skinny Dip. Really nice neutral. Um, so I was like, should I just put that in and have the goal be to finish? But then I thought, no, the way I want to use this project project is to encourage me to get around my whole collection. So I'm actually going to roll in the two other shades. So Hot Pursuit and Last Smoke. And I will swatch these ones on my hand for you. Um, they are cool tone, quite similar to one another, but uh, I think suit this time of year, but also are not necessarily my everyday shades so I'm not necessarily going to be finishing these lip glosses this year so there's the two um Hot Pursuit and Last Smoke kind of similar Hot Pursuit is maybe a bit more has kind of a readiness to it as well um as the cool toneness but uh, anyway uh, so it's, I guess it's more like a cool tone brown than a cool tone kind of mauve situation which I think uh, last smoke very much is so both of these running in for eight uses each the formula is really nice uh, the packaging does feel nice but like it's only 3.8 milliliters per uh, pack like the Maybelline lifter gloss is 5.4 and people give out that this isn't that much and also like the packaging is so chunky but like this packaging is made a bit chunkier by the like fancy sleek design or you know the nice design of it which it does kind of give you a good way to hold on to it but um yeah I these the value is interrupted by how small the size is so anyway 16 uses in total between the two of those next up the king of clubs um, and for black kings this round it is sorry oh I feel like it looks like a spade from far away. Anyway, um, it doesn't matter because it's black kings so are all the same um, 
on the game board so this was something you have pan in so i was kind of thinking like there's a couple of palettes i have pan in and then i was like, like i don't have pan in any blush bronzer or highlighter and then i realized do you know what else i do have pan in is face powder so this is a powder foundation and then i think that is part of this that broke off but it could be part of a different powder that broke off and i put it in here this is a face powder um totally broken into pieces so i am going to smash up both of these which i've been meaning to do for ages but have not done break them both up and put them into maybe this empty bare minerals uh container or i i do somewhere have an empty loose powder and uh, mini becca setting powder which i really liked the packaging of that so if i can find that packaging i'll put it in that if not i'll put it in this um so yeah this is like too little to use and this is too difficult to use because it's so broken uh, and obviously then it'll be a hybrid setting powder and powder foundation but that's fine I, I don't mind i might not use it under my eyes i might just use it on the rest of my face i love powder i fly through powder but once it gets like this it is difficult to finish it so my goal on this will be to finish it i will i won't be able to do this and insert the picture for this video but i will show you how much of it there was at the beginning in the next update and then how much there is then because this will probably take a few months to finish uh, even though i love powder so much and finally the joker so the joker is you know are you kidding me something you really don't want to pan um my channel name is 10 red lipsticks I love red lipstick, but now that I wear more more eyeshadow than I ever wore before, I find that red lipstick is a lot on top of like an intense eyeshadow look. Um, so it's not, not that it was ever necessarily an everyday thing for me, but it was an every time I go out thing for me back in the day. And it's not necessarily an every time I go out thing for me. Like today I'm going for a more neutral lip because I feel like I want my eyes to do the talking. So I'm going to roll a red lipstick in. So this is a mini. This is Gucci Goldie Red. I got this as a free sample. Stunningly beautiful. The color is gorgeous. Like it's the perfect red. So my goal, you may or may not be able to see it. Let me see if I can get it to focus over there. Yeah, you can see where it says Gucci. My goal is for it to not say Gucci anymore. So that means kind of using half of it, um, which in a mini lipstick might not seem like a lot. Um, but because it's kind of so precious to me and because it is a mini and I have a history of minis getting wrecked, like they're less stru structurally uh, secure than full size lipsticks are. Um, for example, I keep this in the box. Like I wore it last night. Um, I went out last night and I wore it but I, kept, I brought it with me to, for touch-ups in the box. So I'm not going to be throwing this in my work bag or anything like that. So um, I do feel that using it that much is going to be difficult. Um, not because I don't love it, because I don't, not that I don't want to wear it a lot, but I find that, you know, it would be a lot with the makeup I'm wearing today, for example. I think you could still do it, but uh, I'm going to somebody else's hand party. You know, I'm not the center of attention. Um, so yeah, using about half of the, how much is in this? Um, one gram, one gram of lipstick that's in here. So maybe that doesn't sound that impressive, but I think it'll be challenging. Um, and I don't want to have finishing this lipstick in a project because it's not that old so I would like to be able to still use it next year um, and my other red lipsticks are big full-size lipsticks and I don't I I'm like how would I measure progress exactly like it would certainly be an are you kidding goal to finish them in a year but also I feel it would be impossible Um, so yeah that's why I have come down in this way and I I do love red lipstick, but I genuinely had no interest in panning a proper red lipstick. I did have a red um, Revlon lip butter in um, Partners of Cream a few years ago to finish, but it was like nearly finished anyway. And that's a glossy, lighter formula that I find more everyday friendly. Um, so that was a bit different. This, this does feel like an are you kidding me goal, even though it is so small. But 
you could certainly go harder. But then again, I might get the Joker again next month. Who knows? Uh, and hopefully I will have uh, at least two, possibly three with the lip glosses to roll out next month. So we will be moving through things in this project. Last year I was not great with the updates. This year I am fully committed to my updates. This project and Partners in Cream will be going up every month around the deadline. Uh, obviously this looks like it'll be a day late, that's fine. Um, and even if they're beyond the deadline, like to catch up, um, I'm committed to that. Uh, as opposed to last year, I kind of got overwhelmed and I let things get away from me. This year, I think having generally more achievable goals would mean I do have something to share in every update. So I think that would be uh, fun and motivating for me to uh, get myself organised and film. Even if I don't have my perfect setup, this is my partner's art supplies. Um, yet, hopefully, maybe not next update, but the update after, I'll be back upstairs set up in my nice space that I usually use. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will link all the details below. Loads of people are doing this project. I haven't watched many updates yet, but I'm excited to watch them while I'm in work tomorrow. Um, and yeah, loads of fun to be doing a group project again. At first I was thinking, should I just do a shot my style for a, you know, project five uses, project 10 uses, something to help me rotate through my whole collection. And I was like, do you know what? I actually really enjoy the projects with other people where loads of people are doing something similar. Um, and I really enjoy prompt based projects. It's just that in the past I have set really high goals or goals that I found difficult. Um, so I think melding the two ideas of getting around my whole collection quickly and enjoying this group project with fun prompts um, is a good way to do it. And hey, I am going to have a couple of finished goals in there, mixed in there along the way. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!